seven. They were really upset. It cost them three thousand dollars to give off the sin of masturbation. Uh, three thousand dollars for one masturbation. Yeah, that particular subject is treated as a deep sexual perversion within the church. It's not just frowned upon, it's they come down on it quite hard, like with a hammer. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why, because nothing that Hubbard ever wrote said that it's something to come down on. Maybe you know I'm guilty Cops, judge, and jury They all agree But there's a a bit of a medieval morality uh, at the, in the church about that kind of activity and it's completely unacceptable and uh, again they do consider it their business and they do consider that you know they have the right to know everything about every single instance of every single time you've ever done anything and so they'll pull that information and they'll make you feel guilty about it and they will definitely charge a person to get off They're sitting in a confessional session mm -hmm. and they need to detail when, for how long, were any other occurred, devices what the fantasy, used. Right down yeah. to the nitty gritty. That's right. Everything must be told the Mother Church. That's correct. It's the exact time, exact place, the exact form, and the exact event. So it's every single detail about it. People have speculated that the church is inordinately interested in your sex life. Mm -hmm. Any comment on that? Well, I think it's uh, the degree of interest is initially put there as it's something for your own good so that you can relieve yourself of your transgressions. But I've seen it used against a person, including myself, long after that information has you know, come off, you know, you've unburdened yourself of that information and it's no longer affecting you. You're no longer doing those things. You're no longer involved in things past misdeeds or whatever you might consider, you know, about that activity. But then it's on file, it's on record, and that information can then be used later on to make you look like a pervert, to make you look like a bad person. It was told in confidence, but it's used against you later to make other people think less of you. That definitely happened to me, and I've definitely seen it happen with other people. So really, there's no sanctity of a session? None whatsoever. The confidentiality, the, the folders are stamped with a priest-penitent privilege, but that's for show because, uh, well, even in Laura Di Crescenzo's case, there were like, what, over a hundred people who had had access to her PC folders that mm -hmm. were stamped confidential, confessional. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just not true. What you said in the sanctity of a session will be used against you punitively later. Yes. I know there's a bait and switch con where you're not allowed to be punished for what you say in session. Mm -hmm. So for what you say in session is now ordered to HCO sex checks. Right. And you can be punished for HCO. So they take out the session data and now they call it not auditing you on right. the cams. Well, here's the way it actually works as I've seen it, which is, you know, when you're in the church and you're a good boy or you're a good girl and you're going along with the program and you're giving money and you're doing your classes, they, they, then that, you're, you're not going to be under threat of that information coming out or coming to light. But if you start thinking for yourself or you start looking at uh, things that are not in agreement with the church or you start talking about things that are not in agreement with the church, that information starts coming out and they start looking through it and start pulling it out and they use it against you or there's a threat of using it against you or in my case they'll just put it out on a piece of paper for everybody to see so that they'll it's it's used in such a way that they, they try to get people to think less of you or worse of you so that they won't listen to you and your disagreements or your problems or your the points that you're making about the church being wrong <laughs>